hello everyone hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to discuss uh, how you should attempt your mock test for aws exams so in this video i'll be covering mostly for uh, solution architect associate but even if we are giving some cloud practitioner or sysop uh, sysops architect so you can uh, change uh, change it accordingly so let's start the first point is obviously like uh, you should uh, choose a good mock test and uh, like i have covered a dedicated video that how you should uh, choose a mock test and like just go with the ratings and reviews so generally the most famous one are good so in my case uh, i took the neil neil davis one okay and uh, once you have selected uh, your mock test so i i'll suggest you to give mock test after you are done with at least uh, your syllabus two times so in the first time just uh, go through the syllabus and in the second time when you are watching the actual course content so then make notes and after you have done this part okay you have gone through the course at least uh, twice so give a mock test and i'm sure that after giving mock test also you have to like uh, revise your notes okay and in the second iteration you are making notes so that uh, it will be very easy for you um, like while giving the mock test and you can have you can add additional points also okay so once you have uh, like once you are here and you have purchased a mock test so like give at least two mock test okay after two mock test uh, you will understand that uh, in how much waters you are and uh, how much extra effort you need so like after two mock test i was scoring anything about 50% and that's pretty much okay uh, don't um, like uh, don't uh, lose hope and uh, analyze the incorrect options so there are four options so if there is a question then there will be four options for it and generally there will be four otherwise there are questions in which there are five options also so generally you are going to discard the two of, of them are like easily you rule out them and the these two options okay so if you are right now confused that okay which option you should go for just um, like mark this question and after the exam try to let's say if this is correct and this is incorrect okay and your answer is incorrect like you have gone with the four one so try to understand that why fourth one is not right so that way like uh, you will understand that uh, with the correct option also uh, why this option is incorrect and this is very important because until and unless you try to uh, know why this option is incorrect uh, then you cannot like uh, that's the benefit of giving the mock test okay and uh, the good part of the neil davis uh, course the mock test are that uh, after each and every question like once you are done with your mock test so um, at the end of the uh, like exam each and every question will have descriptive uh, solutions so then you can yourself decide that okay just read through it and uh, if you need just go to your notes and if you want to add something to your notes just add it so that uh, next time you revise it will be very helpful for you okay so like once you have done these two mock test proceed to the other two mock test and after like giving four mock test i was scoring anything near to 60% okay and uh, again repeat the same process analyze the incorrect option and uh, at that time you will have like you have given four mock test and two mock test are remaining so rather than giving those two fresh new mock test what i'll suggest you is that reattempt the old mock test okay that way you will have two mock test that are untouched and the attempted four mock test so try to reattempt it okay and uh, try to score more than the passing marks so the passing marks are 72% for associate one and 70% for uh, practitioner one so that is almost close to the same just in uh, difference of one incorrect or correct answer so try to score like just to be sure shot try to score more than 75% and in the course they have recommended that 
please reattempt the mock test until and unless you regularly score 80 percent okay and i totally agree with them that uh, try to aim for 80 percent okay later i'll tell you that what was my mock test uh, result how much i actually scored in each and every mock test and um, like to be very frank i never touched this 80 percent mark okay and in the end i'll tell you the actual marks i got in the exam so you got my point right just attempt four mock test and reattempt those four mock four mock test and after that those the two mock tests that are remaining try to reattempt uh, try to attempt it in one go not in one go i mean one by one so that way like uh, you have those two fresh mock tests that are untouched okay now coming to my result of mock test so this was my first attempt R E S U L T. I don't know why they are so the first attempt I got 36% so I was really heartbroken and I thought like maybe I can score 60 but the first time you attempt it uh, so that was like I have I haven't given the practitioner exam so this was uh, my like the first AWS exam and like the quiz inside the uh, actual uh, so I took the Stephen Mari course and just after each and every section there were quiz and the quiz uh, were very short. So you have a question of maybe two lines and you have options. You pick out those options and that was and uh, the thing is that like if you have studied let's say S3 so the quiz will be based on the S3 itself. Okay if you have uh, studies let's say VPC so the quiz will be based on the same section so that way like uh, you will know okay what you have to like select and in the VPC um, in the VPC section if you have an option of S3 you can simply rule out but you don't have that same privilege in the mock test so in the mock test everything is uh, like consolidated and like in the first time it was really hard for me to like actually read out the questions because the questions are generally four lines or five lines long so you have to really understand the question but you will like with time you will surely um, get an taste of it so like my first mock mock test i was i was at 36 later in the second mock test i moved to 56 then 58 and then in 69 okay so i attempted those four mock tests first and after that i gave the reattempt of uh, these so in reattempt i got the 75 percent of this 78 73 and 72 that was my actual result of the mock test which i reattempted so i actually passed it the passing is 72 and like here i just passed it on the brink and if you see that like i never touched actual 80 percent that was recommended and again after like re-attempting it i moved to those two new mock tests and here like i was able to get 53 and 58 i was again really heartbroken because i was expecting 60 percent plus but that's the beauty that you have to just uh, like don't just cram try to understand um, what are the like why this is the incorrect answer and again i'm repeating that uh, you have to analyze the incorrect options that way you will actually understand that uh, the actual motto okay so when you purchase the stephen course so they have uh, they provide one mock test free with their uh, aws course so there like i got 49 and i was like the questions are really really descriptive uh, so i don't really like the mock test of stephen one but the neil davis one so this is of neil davis and they are really good and if you can like if you can get 75 percent plus then i'm sure you're going to pass the exam but at least try to score for 80 if you're getting 80 in these uh, mock tests then i'm 100 percent sure that you're going to clear the exam no doubt on that until and unless you don't cram the things and you actually understand the approach which i told you now coming to the actual marks uh, which i got where is my pointer yeah so i got 773 yeah out of 1000 so that is 77% 77.3% okay so as you can know that uh, 
like there are 65 questions and out of those only 50 are evaluated and 15 are just for the testing purpose but you will not be able to like differentiate between those and out of those 50 each and every question carries a different weightage based on the um, difficulty level of the paper that's why like i was really surprised when i got 773 because there is no like uh, no actual uh, uh, like uh, each and every question carries a different weightage so that's why like um, this score okay and uh, at the start of the at the start of the stephen marie course uh, stephen has got 9980 98.4 percent so that was also something like if if you are giving an exam and you are giving everything correct then also there is no guarantee that you will score thousand over thousand so that's the beauty of aws exam i don't know how they actually calculated it but uh, like i as i have discussed in my previous video that actually when i first gave the exam so they invalidated my result so please watch it and uh, so that you don't make the mistakes which i made while giving the exam and that's it guys uh, still if you have any question just uh, comment down below and i'll be happy to help you out thank you thank you for watching